Hi everybody, welcome along. It's the weekend, it's Saturday um, and I hope you all have a lovely, lovely weekend. Um, I'm certainly planning a crafty weekend um, and I hope you are too. I've just been sitting here watching the chat go by and, and I was seeing that some of you, Jean in particular of course, was saying that she's got so much stuff that it's really difficult to even get started on a project because, you know, uh, you can't select what it is that you want. And, and I can really um, understand that. The thing that I do is if I'm going to be working on, say, Edith, for example, I'll pull together an Edith book, maybe some printed Edith papers, um, some green lace and trim and ribbons, etc. And try and leave it at that. Try and work on just the few bits that you've got out. You you might find that you need, I don't know, an extra washi sticker or a die cut or something. That's fine. Add that in. But stick with your basics. Otherwise, you get overwhelmed. Totally overwhelmed. Anyway, that's not what this is about at all. This is about our 31 days of January. Our January daily. And I, before January started, I selected some prompts that I thought we could follow. I altered a book, so it had 31 sides in it. And every day we've just been selecting a, a prompt, one of the prompts, and making a page in the journal. It originally started out as uh, somewhere to keep our take fives that we do on a Tuesday. But I think it's maybe slightly moved on, although it's still a place to keep your take fives. It's now become a sort of ideas book that, you, you know, it's got, if you're stuck with a page for a journal, you can look through that and think, oh, yeah, OK, I could use that, and maybe alter that bit a bit or this bit. But, all, you know, it's a good idea. I'll move ahead with my journal. So that's kind of become the idea. Anyway, let's get round to what today's prompt is. <laughs> And today's prompt, well, I've got so many down here. I've got birds, use a die, botanical music paper, tag and lace down there. They're all good ones. Down here we've got, got more. <laughs> and the fickle finger of the pencil today is going to land on grunge. Grunge theme. And today, I believe, it's the 23rd. This time next week will be really near completion. We uh, the numbers beginning with the three. Yeah, yeah, we will. But we're making progress, 23rd. So that's our prompt sheet. OK, let's get Mr Green out. Um, this is my altered book. It's nine by seven. I didn't select it for that. I selected it because it was we're in lockdown and it was a book that I had because uh, I couldn't go out to the charity shops and get another one. So um, it's technical drawing by Mr. Green, who was a teacher of technical drawing. So it told me in the beginning. So we've we've gone through each each date following a prompt. We've got loads and loads and some nice things to draw on, I think, you know, some some things that, for example, this vellum envelope in here, it's filled with all die cuts. And I think that's, or fussy cuts, should I say. And I think that's quite a nice idea for a journal. You just pop them in there and then the recipient or yourself in, in, as you're going through your journal can draw on those little things in that vellum envelope and stick them on where they prefer them to be. Then we had the winter theme, which I still love. I love that page. Um, butterflies. This lovely corner tuck. It's such a useful corner tuck. I did one yesterday. I don't know. Where did it end up? Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. For the file folder that I'm altering. And that's, that's the same thing, except I've done it obviously in a different colour. Use pearls down there. And I've got a die that print uh, cuts out flowers in various um, sizes. And I'd seen on Create and Craft where they, they use 
foamy sort of stuff to make flowers and I thought, well, I wonder if I could do it with paper. So I cut it out in a really light coloured um, paper and then I inked around the edges of it and then I got the the not non pokey end of my pokey tool and just sort of went round and round and round and eventually they started to curl up. So I quite like that idea. I might be implementing that again. So yeah, that was that. Then we had our evening um, purse. Then we had stamping. Then we had this, which was a uh, washi sticker. That's right, with the flippy flappies and the uh, washi stickers at the back there. Nice page as well. And then yesterday we did the envelope flips. And I think by the looking on the um, Facebook group, this seems to be quite a few people's favourite page. And uh, yeah, I think it's possibly mine too. It's it, it's simple. You know, there was nothing on there that was really difficult to do. Um, and it works. Even if you've got a bus busload of people coming to do that it works so i think if you follow the uh follow along the video with that you you won't have too many problems i think it was okay and then we put the number down there which i also like actually which brings us on to today which is this page now this is going to be one almighty juxtaposition because here we've got pretty overload and here we're going to have grunge it might just work that it sets them both off quite well. Don't know. Well, time will tell. This is a, one of the pages. Um, this is the double page I'd stuck together. And on some pages, I left a loose single leaf that I could make into pockets or whatever. Now, a while ago, Sandra Lewis commented on my video, uh, one of the videos. When I fold it over, I usually fold it that way. Why do I not fold it that way, which would give me another pocket in there? I, hadn't, I don't know why, it just hadn't occurred to me. So thank you, Sandra, for that uh, tip. It's a really good one. I might implement it today, but I might not. I'm not sure. I want quite a big space here, so probably not. But worth remembering and a very good tip. Thank you. So, right. I'll show you the book that I've been butchering this morning. It is this one. It's quite a big book. You can't really see it all. Mm, there we go. It's quite large. And it's... Zoom out. No, it's all right. We'll get the hang of it. It's called The Illustrated Book of Insects. Comprehensive colour guide to their lives and habitats of insects of the world. And as you can imagine, there's some really, really interesting ones in here. All sorts of everything. I mean, look at them. The fabulous, fabulous illustrations. I mean, look... Look at that one. There's some just glorious ones. Um, but I've been through it. Ooh, wow, look at that. Um, I've been through the book and I've selected some that I really quite like. I've no idea if insects go with grunge, but who says they don't? So these are the ones that I have selected. I've selected this one for two reasons. It's a flower and it's a dog rose. And it's got this beetle i think it's beetle munching through it there so i quite like that i've got this rather large must be a moth um which is dark and i thought looked kind of foreboding so i quite like him as well uh i've got this don't ask me what that is i haven't got a clue but it's kind of coppery colored and i sort of liked it and it's big and then this which I think it said was a cicada. Is that how you say that? I'm not sure. The noisy ones. So I've got these four that I can call on if I need them. And I hope I do, because I really quite like them. I like the idea of having a page that's full of things like that. And I bet most of you at home are going, yeah. <laughs> and I like that idea too, if I'm honest with you. I have selected some bits and pieces that I thought I would like to include in my grunge page. And they are that word there, which is inspire. This, I like it. It's got a sort of hole at each end and it's kind of, that's oh, upside down. It's kind of like a book plate sort of thing. You could cut something out and stick it on there. Quite like that. 
Um, that, I just liked it. Another sort of tag shaped thing with old music on it. Uh, this, just part of a baggage tag actually. And the final destination was Marine Francais. Mm, okay. Uh, that, nothing special, but I think in the right place would look nice. And this. I, I'm also going to need some um, kind of background paper or something like that. Um, more on that in a minute because I want to show you some fabric that I've also... Apart from those, I also have these two that have been coffee stained. This is a page out of a notebook and I particularly wanted to leave this raggy edge on there. I thought it was in keeping. And a doily that's been coffee stained. Nothing particularly special about that. Um, fabric, right, let's see what I've, what I've got. I'm not saying I'm going to use this. I'm just gathering, like I said to Eugene, gather the things around you that, that you think are most pertinent and that you might use. That, I quite like it. It's got a bit of a grungy vibe going on. This is silk. Honest to goodness, silk. And I can't see me cutting into that for a... Don't know what I'm saving it for. It's one of those things you save, isn't it? Uh, this, it's got a sort of sheen to it. Nice. Uh, this, which is ultra shiny. Uh, this organza, it's copper coloured, but it's a real pain to use because it's so, so thin. And then this, which is sort of lame. Well, it's not sort of lame, it is lame. So I've got those, should I need to call on them. Um, and the other thing I wanted to show you, and I'm sure you, most of you or some of you will have come across it before. It's uh, die cuts with a view. Uh, and it's the heirloom stack and it's got 180 sheets in it's every sheet is there's three of every sheet um, I wonder if you could just pull out a little bit if you get the opportunity please I'll just quickly go through this with you um, just in case some of you haven't already got this I wonder if we could get that okay what this book just so they can see the pages. Yeah, that's lovely. Marvellous. Thank you. Um, so, yes, uh, this is where my Inspire came from. So it's this um, paper stack is going to be what I make. Jeans, Tim Holtz collection, folio up with. So that probably looks plenty, but it's actually got some text behind it. This, which is kind of almost steampunk, maybe. That, which I absolutely adore. So I'll just flick through them, just in case you haven't seen it before. Although I think it's fairly ubiquitous, actually. But it's called Die Cuts with a View. D-C-W-V, they go by. And this is the Heirloom Paper Stack. This is nice, isn't it? I could see me using that and that i love the stitching on that so as i say there's three of each this is my favorite in all the book i adore this i absolutely adore it do you remember that wallpaper sample book that mr f got me it's kind of like that isn't it it's the same sort of idea and i nearly used it for today <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't. I've saved it. I'm hoarding, all right? I'm hoarding already. Uh, that's lined paper. The single-sided, the white on the back, which suits me fine. I always find it a bit of a trial when you've got double-sided bits to actually <sighs> stick glue on the other side, you know what I mean? Waste it almost. Uh, map of the world with a grid. And that's she's already got that book. Who? Janya. Yeah. She got it because it was on the sale. Oh, did you? Yeah, I think it, I think a lot of people perhaps have this book. Um, but for those of you that haven't, we'll have a quick flip through, as I say. Nice turquoise tealy colour. Nice. Nice. Sort of music, burgundy. That's nice too. Happiness, smiles and good times. 
Yeah, that's what we all have to remember. This, which, when you look at it, when I looked at that, I thought, what on earth would you use that for? But I think you'd have to cut it into strips. I couldn't deal with the paper like that. Personally, myself. That's gorgeous. I love that. That would fit in a floral journal. In fact, it would fit in that file folder that I haven't got any further with. But wouldn't it? It'd be lovely. Uh, this it's, look, looks textured. Uh, this, which I want to cut the 23 out of. There, there it is. Let's just do that now. I'm just going to tear this out. Cut that 23 out and then we'll have it for later on. When we need to put the number on our page. I wonder when I start making journals again if I'll be looking around for numbers because it's, it's, you know, at the end of every day, the last thing we do is stick the number on. So I already made one for us here today. So that's always helpful, isn't it? Right, I'll put that over there and hopefully it won't get lost in the melee. Um, music. Alligator skin. Crocodile, I don't know the difference. Um, that, that's nice. In the right place, that'd be lovely. It's like old text and adverts. Playing cards. This, I really like this page. That's really useful. Make, make a nice top of it. Also make a nice background. That, which is one of the pages I've chosen for today. Looks lovely. So there's only two of those. This, it's a lovely collage, isn't it? It's really, really nice. I mean, it's big. You'd have to cut into it, but I like it. And I love this pattern around the outside. Textured. It's not textured. Page is flat, but it looks textured. That's nice. Crossword with words in. That friendship, traditions, love. Yeah, nice words. That's nice too, like that. They've just done a lot of the work for you, which I appreciate. And here's a nice page that you could cut into. You could fussy cut if you wanted to, whatever. A lot of good elements in there, like these numbers. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, music, but on a different background. That's nice also. Am I boring everyone? That's nice. Is everybody bored? No. Bingo tickets. Huh? House. They're great to cut out, aren't they? And just uh, stick in another teal. So there's quite a few teals. You could make a, an interesting page with teals. That I'd have to cut up. It's, it's doing my head in that one. And this, which is where I got a lot of those elements I showed you, the circle there, this tag, that, that, that. So I cut them all out individually and use them as fussy cuts. This is the other page that we're going to be using today. I really like it. It's nice. This one with tape measure and some stitching. Big industrial looking letters like those two. Keys, yeah. This, another one of my favourites. I love this page. I love it. I love it, love it. That, another collage. It's just excellent. They've just done the work for you. Nearly there. Clocks or watches or whatever. Um, another background page. Some more playing cards on a different background. 
and this oh no there's more that love that and this one of my favorites now that there is just such a lovely collage that you could use with any of the teals oh that bit there really really nice and that is it now so that's the um dcwv die cuts with a view 180 sheets heirloom stack it's it's great i love it it's done the work for you so we'll see you tomorrow <laughs> yeah okay well maybe not quite that much so these are the two sheets that i tell you i've um, picked out the brown and the kind of old mustardy colored one um and i'm going to select the brown for behind the pocket so i've got to decide where my pocket's going to fold so i need the insect that's on the flower because that's going to go down there it's going to have stuff behind it but that's where it's going to go so i need to fold our pocket so i can see all of that and perhaps a little bit more so to there i'm going to fold it back on itself Is that the mark? I can't even see where the blooming mark was now. Dear, oh dear. It's there. Surely you can see that. Right, so let's fold that square along there. It's the left-hand side of Mr Green's just like so chunky. But I love it, actually. Right, so I've folded that back. So we can really begin working on here, but the first thing I'm going to do is just um, just glue this down, just so it stops flapping around and irritating me. can be drying whilst we're working on on the rest right so oh, Dixie's admiring yesterday's page. oh thank you I, yeah I think a, a lot of the ladies uh, liked it we haven't seen Mike so I can safely say ladies uh, so I want this to come beyond where the pocket is so to about I don't know, an inch, say, an inch over where the pocket is. And I need to cut it then at, just measuring it up against the, the page. So I need to cut it there. And then I need to cut it. Just, I'm leaving a thin margin around it. So I need to cut those, those two out. Is that a roll call while you doing the mechanics? Roll call, yeah. Terry. Hiya Terry, I'm glad everything went, well, hopefully well yesterday. Ros. Hi Ros. Kathleen. Hello Kathleen. Jean. Hi Jean. Hi Bernice. Deborah. Hi Deborah. Kiyung. Hi Kiyung. Who's one day older than yesterday? She's a year older. <laughs> Indeed. Mm. Chaz. Hi Chaz. Flo. Hi Flo. Miranda. Hello Miranda. Beryl. Who? Beryl. Hi Beryl. Vicky. Hello Vicky. Violet. Hello Violet. Nancy. Hello Nancy. Linda. Hi Linda. Donna. Hello Donna. Amanda. Hello Amanda. Helen. Hello, Helen. Susan. Hello, Susan. Tony. Hi, Tony. Leslie. Hi, Leslie. Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Carmen. Hello, Carmen. Connie. 
Hi Connie. Kareen. Hi Kareen. Jan. Hi Jan. Ah uh, Dixie. Hi Dixie. Lynn. Hi Lynn. And Jan, you who's going to the hairdressers? Going to the hairdressers? Hmm. Well, we know where we stand with her then, don't we? Yep. Huh. I'm outraged. <laughs> outraged. Right, so I want it to about there. Just cutting it with my knife so I can pres preserve as much of the sheet of paper as possible. Kind of if you cut it with your rotary cutter, you sort of go top to bottom and... Oh, I'm not far enough up. And uh, you end up with the rest of it in sort of pieces. Right, so there we are. Jenny is laughing and saying, ah. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're going to the hairdressers. <laughs> you're not getting any sympathy. You could probably watch it while they're doing your hair. Right, so I'm just going to bring this over a little bit and that should then fit in there. Let's put the pencil marks to the other side. Yeah, that's marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. Yeah, okay. Let's make a start. I'm going to go around this with uh, walnut ink stain. I can find it. Yeah, here we go. And she says, yes, she'll tune back in. <laughs> Apparently a sister's visiting from New York, so they're having a sister day. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. I don't think it's excusable, but I'll say fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so walnut stain is the darkest of the inks that I've got. Um, I know he also does a gathered twigs and an, and an espresso. I don't know where they fit in whether they're darker or lighter. I've never had them because I'm not much of a real dark ink sort of person. I'm usually all for the pretty. So there we are, we've got inked around there. So, right, let's start building our page. I'm not gonna stick that down quite yet. Um, but I am going to bring that over so I can see what I've got to work with. Right, so I think a little bit of this um, uh, doily would look nice. And I'm also just going to build a bit of a background up and see what happens. I like this. And I also like this. And then I want my flower with the huge insect. And I frankly don't think that needs anything more than that, really. I, th I think by the time we get all of that inked up, I think that's going to be fine. So let's, let's start with the bottom one, which is this one. So there will be a bit of ink in, guys. I'm very sorry. I could have done it all before you joined me, but... You know, it's part of it, isn't it? I'm trying to bring it in a little bit over the edge. So it's not just the edge. It's getting inked. I want it a bit. And see, it's coming over the edge. Okay, I think that one's... That one looks all right. This one. I'm not the world's expert on grunge. I did do that folio a while ago, if you remember, and I, I really liked it, actually. Um, but it's, it's kind of one of those things. I'm never sure if I'm doing it right, really. Although, you know. How can you do it wrong, I suppose? You could, if you wanted to, tear these edges and you'd get a kind of much grungier look. For the moment, I don't want to do that. So that's going to go in there, I think we said. 
so now I need to ink around here and I need to ink from there to there. So I'll probably cut that off actually if I fold that over. There's the other torn bit there. There to there. Let's just fold that down. Cut that off. And ink around here. I think I'll, I need to do this on my board. bit which you can't do if you're holding it wobbling it around in thin air I've noticed <laughs> going to go there that's going to go there that's going to go there okay everything's looking all right and then this flower I'm going to have to ink it or it's just going to disappear I think so let's let's attempt to ink it I don't want to ink it too much I just want to ink it so it, it's got an edge that's all I can't wait to see what you ladies make um, of the grunge theme. I know some of you will relish it, absolutely relish it. But some of the rest of you that are like me and like the pretty, um, you, well, I'm saying you're going to struggle. I'm not. You probably won't. Jenny is going around adopting everybody as sisters. <laughs> is she? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> So she can have one big massive sister day. Yeah. Is she actually asking people, will you be my sister? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's just offering to adopt them. Oh. If they haven't got sisters. Oh, I have got a sister. Right, so yeah, that, that makes it stand out a little bit more. Excellent. Right, so what I want to do, do I want that doily on the top? I think I want that behind it, but do I want that over the rest of it? Yeah, possibly. Possibly I do, I think. So I'm going to stick these down, the loose parts. I'm going to just tack them down with a bit of glue. I'm just going to use Cosmic Shimmer because it dries really quickly and just stick these down. Just roughly in place. Just like that, that is sufficient. Where did I say this went? Over the top. Oh, right. Okay. So just a little bit of glue down there. It's going to go at a sort of angle, a rakish angle. So stick that down there. Right, what I'm going to do now is sew. I'm going to stitch on it. And I'm just going to stitch kind of top to bottom. Yeah, that's fine there. So yeah, I think it'll be all right just top to bottom, but over that side a little bit. Then I'll have a look at it and see if it needs any stitching anywhere else. So I'm off to my machine. I'm going to use... um. A zigzag stitch. I'm going to sort of follow the line of the doily as a guide. Right. 
Right, I've got black thread in my machine. And yeah, I think that makes a huge difference, actually. I really like that. I'm going to cut my ends off, but I'm going to leave a straggly bit. My goodness, what is the world coming to? I'm going to leave a little bit of tail ends on them. Because I think that looks crunchy. <laughs> it might not. So that's going to go there. Do I need any more stitching? I don't think so, because that's going to go there and it's enormous, really. So, yeah, no, I think that the time probably has come to stick this down to here and then I might go around it all, might stitch all the way around it. I don't know. Let's get this bit stuck on anyway. See, I was practicing my stitching, different kinds of stitch to see which I like best. So once again, I'm going to use the Cosmic Shimmer. It dries quickly. I'm going to go over that stitching. I think we need to trim the doily off, so we'll see when we get it stuck down. fits height wise lovely just needs a little dab of glue in there just wants to lift oops two for the price of one there we go right so let's trim this uh, doily off down the edge. Don't want to trim my end that I've specifically left. I quite like that actually. Do I want to sew all the way around it? That's the question. I don't think maybe I do because it's going to clash with this bit that we've put there. So no. I think I'll leave that. So it's going to get stuck there and the big flower is going there. We're doing all right guys, that looks quite nice. So I'm going to stick this flower down, I'm just going to bring this back over. So I'll probably want that a bit more that way. So as you can see this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you got the idea. Oh, we had a terrible time trying to decide last night what we were going to choose today, didn't we, Mr. F? Yeah, terrible time. It really was. It took hour, absolutely hours. And I was watching the telly, but I wasn't really watching it because I was trying to work out what I was going to do. And then I thought, well, let's tackle grunge. I've been sort of putting it off because, as I say, I'm always a bit sort of afraid of it, really. Um, and I thought, let's give it a go. I thought you lot would be kind enough that even if I made a right hash of it, you'd be kind to me. Right then, let's get this where we want it. Well, that's not where we want it, which isn't going to help, is it? So, right, so I want it over towards that side, like that. Oops. And you're up to the addresses. Have a nice time, my love. Thanks for joining us. And see you tomorrow, hopefully. Unless, of course, you have another pressing engagement. Like your nails. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the manicurists to Manicure, open. Manicure, pedicure. Tch. Tch. Reiki massage. Tch. 
Which you've all got to be done at the same time as we're on, you notice. Huh. Have a nice time, lovely. Right, there we go. I quite like that, actually. I'm not exactly certain that it's grunge, but if it's not, what is it? It's grunge, isn't it? Do you think that's grunge, Mr. Yeah. Can you zoom in again, again, a little bit again? Yeah, well, I was just saying on there that grunge is more of a sort of a colour palette than a yeah. defined thing. Yeah. I think the problem with grunge is it's really easy to take it into industrial and it's really easy to take it into steampunk. I think either of those things um, come kind of almost under the grunge uh, umbrella. Wouldn't you say steampunk and industrial? Uh, yes. Mm. Yes, but it can be grungy or steampunk, or it can be grungy steampunk. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's no... Right, I'm going to stick this down now, because... Uh, People I'm... get hung up on titles too much. Well, myself included. I'm just using the collar to uh, stick this down. Well, Mr. F Furkles above my head to change the view that you have. Now, it's not like we have to give it a definitive title because it's going into a library catalogue. Going into Mr. Green, you've got to be pretty, right? But we want no pretty colours. Yeah, but I like that rose that I've put in, the one that that beetle's munching. Yeah, but it's not a bright, no. shiny rose, is no, it? No, no. Boy, come back. I mean, you can certainly go floral, but you want the more sort of decayed look of the flowers when they've gone over than the bright colours of spring, for instance. That's my personal opinion. Okay. Which counts for nothing. No, I think you're right. I agree. Or as you would say, I hear you, <laughs> but no. <laughs> that was funny, Jean. <laughs> oh dear me yeah I hear you but no so there we are that's that down there's a little bit of doily here that needs just a titchy bit of glue it's just if we're putting things in and out of the pockets we want all this to be stuck down really well because otherwise it will lift when you put things in and out of the pocket. Uh, Alexis would like to know what glue is that clear bottle? It is Collal. Um, You're off the screen. It, it's in a sugar bell bottle which Tony Vince kindly sent me and it's a glue called Collal. C-O-L-L-A-L-L -L -L. and this is Oh, it's light. This is what it looks like. This is the kind of giant bottle that I have that I fill up my sugar bell bottle from. So it's C-O-L-L-A-L-L. -L -L. And this is the multi-purpose one, all-purpose glue. It does come in fabric glue, in oh, comes felt yeah, felt polystyrene, comes in loads of different kinds. I find that the all-purpose glue does that. It's pretty all-purpose. I have other glues that I use for specific things. I use E6000 glue, which is this one. If I'm putting on gems or something unyielding, something plastic, something metal, I use the E6000. Um, for paper to paper, I used to use glue stick, but I got frightened it was lifting. So I, this is Aileen's glue, Aileen's super tacky glue. Aileen's tacky. I don't think it's super tacky, yeah. This is the one that... <laughs> this is really heavy. This is a gallon of Aileen's, and it's the original tacky glue, and that's what I film a little bottle from. There you go. Oh, that's heavy. Right, so let's move along the bus, shall we? Um, the pocket. Well, what I thought I would do is use this paper. So I thought it would make quite a nice contrast. So let's cut that out and see if we still think it's a nice contrast once I've got it cut out or if it would be better with the brown still. I don't know. I mean, I really, really don't know. I will say again to the point of tedium 
That heirloom paper stack is really good if this is your thing. If you like doing um, sort of grungy industrial stuff, really consider that because uh, if you can get it on sale, so much the better, obviously. Um, but even at full price, it's not really expensive for what it is. Right, let's chop this out then. Um, can't actually see any of my marks. Oh yeah, there's one. Where's the other one? There. All right, so it's this bit I want to chop out. So for those of you new to the channel, I use um, quilting rulers to help keep me straight because they have two two ways of keeping you straight. There's a line along there and then there's a line that goes up the side and you can see instantly whether you're on the right line or not. Um, that looks okay. It's, looks better. Okay. There's my mark just there, so cut just above that. And I usually use a rotary cutter. Today I'm just using a blade. Um, as I say, I'm trying to preserve the paper in that pack. Lovely. And then it's not very thick, this paper, and I, and I like it for that reason. A lot of the um, 12 by 12s that I've got are really, really thick and it's difficult knowing what to do with them sometimes because they are so thick. I think that's about square. And so we'll preserve that piece as well. Right. So Hooray! It's the right side. Uh, let's just ink around just this bit here. Just I don't mind the edge of the page at all. I quite like it being cream, but this bit here I think is going to annoy me if it's cream because it's kind of in the middle of the page, isn't it? So. So there we are, that's got that inked up. Right, let's have a look then what we've got and what we're planning to use or not use. I've finished with that now, I think. So this is what I've got out to play with today. <laughs> oh, can I just say as well, thank you. Someone, some kind person who knows me well, has sent me this Cosmic Shimmer Colour Cloud Blending Ink in Decadent Oak. And... It's gorgeous. It's lovely and dark and I really, really like it. I love Cosmic Shimmer as, you know, if you watch me often enough, you'll know. Um, I had a little play. Oh, I've cut out the bit that I was playing on. I had a little play with it. Look at it. It's, it really blends out beautifully. It's gorgeous. So thank you very much. There was nothing at all in the um in the box with it in the bag with it so i have no idea who sent it and all i can say is huge thank you right so here we are here's a bit of paper let's get our toys out so we've got the big postcard we've got this tag i've just got a little bit of something and nothing that i cut out i've got this page i love it i've still got half a doily left um i've got this <laughs> and this and this so i've got three of these huge boys uh i've got this circle that i want to put a brad in if i use it i've got that likewise i'd like to put a brad in and the word inspire that's it that's what i've got so let's have a think about where we want to use these well i particularly like this and I'm wondering if we just put it at an angle like that and tore some of it out, if that would look quite nice. Let's give that a go. Let's 
so I am tearing this rather than cut it. And if I had that as a sort of background, needs a bit more off it down there. I'm going to tear this bottom as well because it's kind of straight compared to everything else. So right, if I made that my the back of my background. And then what? I do like him, he's just gorgeous, isn't he? I possibly need something behind him to bring him really to life. Or I could use this one and use a bit of copper fabric behind him. Hmm, that's an idea. This llama is looking favourite. Oops. Um, yeah, just a little bit of that sort of behind him. Are we moving away from grunge? Don't know. I like it anyway, so I'm going to do it. Um, I should have some pinking shears somewhere. Might give a better edge. I'm just randomly going to cut a bit out. Don't really want it to be a square. Okay, so if I had that like that, that like that, this copper coloured beastie up here. I think that looks quite nice. Possibly needs something in behind him. Maybe a bit of the doily. Perhaps up there. Yeah, quite like that. I quite like that. Um, so I think what we need to do is ink the paper. Ink everything. Let's just ink everything. So I'll just retrieve my inking board. I had so many things that were contenders for this. I can't even begin to tell you. I'm sure you can imagine. Um, but I went round and did just kind of what I advised Jean to do. Just selected a few and that's what I'm going to work with. Get more distressed by the second. Right, so I'm just going to come in a little bit and darken that down. If you're wondering why I'm not using the decadent oak, it's because it's brand new. I have to look at it for ages before I use it. Right, okay, I think that's nice and dark enough. It's quite nice actually. Uh, let's move on to the bit of uh, paper out of a notebook. This might be a bit more difficult. It's got a perforated line up there, so if I'm a bit rough, I'm going to end up with just the the edge bit. This has been coffee stained instantly as well. So I'm just going to go around the edge, bring it in from the edge. I don't want a definite line so I'm just going to muddy the waters a little. Very different from yesterday's, isn't it? <laughs> Yesterday was all about the pretty. But now I'm into this, I'm quite enjoying it, I must be honest with you. So I'm just going to darken that down. So hopefully you won't see a distinct edge. I'm 
Right. Lovely. What else have we got on the inking pile? Uh, oh, see this this little fella. Just gonna take that white line away from around the edge of him. So I'm not I'm not inking him as such. I'm just uh, just taking that white away where I can. On his legs, I'm not touching. Look at that fussy cutting, guys. Dedication to duty. So that's what I was up to this morning. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the paper itself, this bit. Darken it down. Take the white off it from where it's been cut. Okay, I think for the time being that will do us in the inking department. Right. So let's see if we can build a page. So we've got that. We've got this. Do really like that actually. Uh, I'm going to put a bit of a doily, I think, under there like that then i'm going to bring this in with my big copper beastie copy cough copper colored beastie right so what does that leave me with all sorts of things really i quite like the idea of having that along there and then maybe i don't know if i want another beastie i think I don't know though. Say hello to Dave. Who's Dave? She has his husband's tidying around him as she oh. sits there. <laughs> Hi Dave! Well done on the tidying when you've finished, you know, you know where to come. We're we're always on the lookout for um for a mummy, <laughs> aren't we? Yeah. We really need a mummy to feed us and look after us and clean up for us. So yes, Dave, if if you're in the in the running to be a mummy, we'd be very grateful. <laughs> I wonder if I could get that word in there. So it's start it's all starting to look a bit square if I do that. Right, no, I'm just I'm I think I'm pretty much gonna leave it at that. I don't think I need anything more than that. I quite like that. Right, so what I'm gonna do is tear that off kind of squarish well cut it off should I say and that's going to go in there so that's the first one that needs to go down right it also needs some additional ink now that I've cut it. Let's try to ink it in midair. Near enough. Right. So let's just pop some glue on that. I do admire your dedication to duty though, Shaz, that you're not being put off by the fact that Dave's cleaning up around you. Maybe you had to even turn us up. Oh, go on, thank you. Deborah says hers is emptying the dishwasher. She asked him to keep it down. <laughs> ridiculous and adorable at the same time right so that's there the next piece is a big paper piece 
needs gluing all around. Each one of these needs gluing, which is a bit of a pain. Jen's just popped in. Is she Jen or Blingy? Uh, she says she's off to the naughty step, so she must be Jen. Uh, she must be Jen. Not lurky Jen. Not Blingy. We can call her by her name and she's on the naughty step. As long as she brought cake. So I'm just going to pop that in at an angle like we spoke about. Glue all of those down. Get my tissue. Miranda says hers is over and around her so she has to turn it up. What's up with the men today? I don't know. I don't know. It's not catching. No, it's not catching. I can see that from here. Um, so now I want to put that in, don't I? And I'm just going to double check where that's going. Okay, I'm going to use the collar hole for this. I've no idea if it'll come through or anything. I haven't got a clue. So I'm going to go pretty light with it. That's cosmic shimmer. I meant cosmic shimmer. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I meant cosmic shimmer. Just really putting just the lightest amount on. And I kind of want it there, really. It's very, very light, this fabric. It's, you know, it won't take much gluing, really. So I think we'll be all right with that. It's still got sort of wrinkles in, which I, I like a lot. Oakley coakley. Um this beastie just go in there. You know what? I really like these beasties. I mean for the page. It could have been a beastie prompt. <laughs> That's what it could have been. Uh, Jen would like to know what the prompt is. Guess. Yeah. <laughs> it could be beasties. No, it's grunge, Jen. Although I'm having trouble hearing you from the naughty step, I must be honest. Particularly if she's got a mouth full of bourbon caramel pecan cake that Flo's taken with her. That You know what, that Flo? She has a naughty streak in her. I'm telling you. She's a tease. Yeah. Teasing us with cakes. Even pictures of cakes. We've had pictures of Victoria sponges, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Tease. Mm -hmm. So that's going there at that kind of angle. Let's see if I can get all these legs stuck down without them dropping off. Lovely. Yeah. Kind of liking it, really, in a weird sort of way. What do you think? Right, I can hear what you think. <laughs> You're thinking you like the pretty better. I know, but we have to have different themes, don't we? Otherwise, it's no use. So, I'm thinking that I might cut that word inspire out. It just needs a little bit and stick it onto this, which I shall then ink and I shall place there-ish. But do I want this other one? Yeah, I've still got room for him though. Still got room. I may have swayed from grunge, who knows, eh? Um, but this is the next thing that I want to put down. So the first thing I'm going to do with that is ink all around this, this bit. and ink those white bits there. I remind you once again, the theme is grunge. Mine is 
a kind of weird beastie interpretation of that. Yours doesn't have to be. It can be anything that you perceive as being grunge. Right, I'm just going to cut this slightly narrower. Well, smaller all round, actually. Stick that onto there. Yeah. Just ink the edges, get rid of that white bit. Okay. Pop that onto there. So I'm using Aileen's for this because it is straight up paper to paper. There's nothing fancy. Um, I just need paper to stick to paper. There's no sort of pressure on it or it's not going to be pulled or tugged or anything like that. So let's see if we can get this. Well, right way up first would be a good idea. That's right way up. Let's see. Oh, that's way off centre. That might be it about there. So quickly get that glue off. If you can't get it up quickly enough, don't worry. Uh, most of these glues, once they're dry and you just rub your finger over them, they come up with a bit of friction. So that's okay. Right. Jim wants to know if it's from a kit. No, Jen. It's from my, <laughs> my poor head. <laughs> no, but we did, before you joined us, have a look through at a paper pack, which is called uh, Die Cuts with a View is the company, DCVW. I'll just briefly show it again. Everybody else torturously sat through me going through every page the of it. people that were on time. Yes. There are 180 sheets in this, so it's thick, really thick. Uh, there's three of each design. It die Cuts with a View is the manufacturer. And this particular stack is called Heirloom. And it's really kind of Tim Holtzy but not Tim Holtz, and it's, you know, not so expensive. The book that I'm using is this book, the uh, Illustrated Book of Insects of the World, and here are, you know, some illustrations, and I chopped out what I, what I wanted. But, you know, there's some fabulous, fabulous insects in there. There's also butterflies and stuff as well. Bees, butterflies... All sorts of stuff. You won't be short of an insect for a while. So that was that book. I don't know how much Mr. F paid for that. Uh, it was a pound. It was a pound. Yeah. There you go. It was a pound. I just wafted something onto the floor, but I don't know what it was, so it won't matter. Uh, ah, maybe. okay. Maybe. Right, so I've got that stuck onto there. Now I want to put this onto my page. And what I think I'm going to do is use brads through there this is really and i might also want to stitch this is why i haven't stuck this piece down onto the onto there yet because i i don't know if i've finished with it yet quite so let's just um get the pink yoga mat out here it is uh, i don't need that yeah i do no, well, maybe not. Um, and I'll see if I can find Mr. F's pokey tool because it's a bit thicker than mine. But no, I'm looking in vain. Is it there? Is it in there? No, I'll use my pokey tool then. So, that's a pencil. That's not going to work, is it? Let's be fair. Right, so I'm just going to go in to the middle of the, which is where my, that's not very central, but never mind, which is where my uh, brads are going to go. The problem is that all the brads that I've got, and I have got loads, they're all kind of pastel sugary, nice, you know, colours that I would ordinarily use. They're not, they're not made for grunge. So, what I did this morning is I had a little trial, but I shall show you now what I did. Um, if I had a bit of paper that I'd used, but 
Oh, sorry, Mr. I've been throwing things at you. Nothing new. Nothing new there. Might have been this, yeah, this piece here. Right, so what I did was I got my brads. Right. And I just selected some of the, there isn't really room for it. Um, some of the ra round ones. I've got square, which you saw me use the other day when Brad was the prompt. Um, but these ones, and there's a sort of pepperminty green one in there, which I can tell you I don't, I can't see me using anytime soon. So um, I've got embossing powder in copper. Hooray! And I've got my embossing dabber and I've got Mr. F's tweezers. So what I did was this. Let me open this up first. Please don't spill it today. Just held that. Got my dabber. A pen would work or even a stamp pad actually, you know. Just make sure you get, get it on there. Cover it with the embossing powder, like so. I'm just going to set that aside. While I put this away, because those of you who watched me last week know what a klutz I am. And it's highly possible that I spill that right off the desk. Ooh, aren't my hands big? Wow. Hello. Uh, and get the dryer out. <laughs> well, hot air gun, dryer, something. Let's heat up the embossing powder. You know how to do this, I know you do. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. I shall bring it up so you can see it. Perfect little copper-headed brad. And in true Blue Peter style, I had already done some, which have now got lost. Mm -hmm. Can you see them anyway from your angle? What did you last me again? My brads, my copper headed. Yes, they're there. Oh, they're there. Lovely, thank you. So I already did some this morning. So we've now got a selection of brads, more than I actually need, but you know, they're nice, aren't they? Effective. So this page is rapidly becoming copper. It's a copper page. So where do I want this to be? I want to leave space for this. So yeah, about there actually, just at the bottom of his leg. So I'll put a hole in to put my brad through. And I'll just put that one in to start with and then we'll level up the, uh, make sure we're level before we get the other one in. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. This is when you're glad you haven't had a manicure. Come on. That's it. Okay, so that's one copper brad in, um, and I don't know, it looks pretty square there actually. Let's just measure it, shall we? We'll just measure it, and then we know. It doesn't have to be square, of course. No, but I want it square, so then it has to be. So that's exactly on two inches, and that's there. So let's just stick it all. There. It's one of those things, isn't it? You either have it square. Yeah, or, or rightly it, off square. Or have it not yeah. square a lot. Yeah, exactly. If you make it a little bit off square, it just looks wrong. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just 
making this hole a bit bigger for so I can get my brad through. Through there, through there, lovely, lovely. Split these, press them down. Is the whack work anywhere handy? Yep. Rub them, whack, whack, or the metal, whack, whack. Rub them, whack, whack, will do. Cover your ears, too late. <laughs> Cover your ears, too late. <laughs> right, so that's those firmly embedded in there. Lovely. <laughs> right, so now what I'm going to do and they're is... they're nicely dented now as well. Yeah, they are actually. The top's dented, which I really like. Um, what you could do if you're doing something similar and you're using copper, is just get a bit of black acrylic on your fingertip, acrylic paint, and just um, glide it over there and they'll look a bit more aged if you do that. But if I did all these things, we'd never get finished. Um, so this is going here somewhere. He's going to have to go straighter than I thought he was going to go due to the broad situation. But that's that's okay. Quite like that. Um, probably need something under him. Does that does that go? I don't really want to get anything else. I just want to use what I've got. Hmm. No. No. Bit of doily. Fabric. Yeah, I'm, I'm working up to a bit of fabric. That actually looks all right. If I got rid of that bit down there, I quite like that look. Yeah, I quite like that. Bit. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's ink around this fella anyway. Nancy says, "Okay, I'm awake now." <laughs> Hello, Nancy. Welcome to the world. <laughs> if you have a look, you'll see you haven't missed a fat lot. A lot of me waffling on as usual. I'll give you a bit of heads up. If she ever asks for the whack whack, turn your sound down. <laughs> Just mute it immediately. You'll soon see when I've finished because the whack whack goes away. <laughs> right, there we are. That's just him inked around. So, um, I just want to I don't want him going that way because that's the same way as the other one. Just I want it there, but I need to get rid of a bit of. Let's just bring that around a little bit more to there. Yeah, that's okay. It's this bit here that needs to go. I don't like seeing it through, so I'm just going to cut that with a fairly wide margin. Kind of balances it up because we've got this on on the main page sort of thing we've got this up there and now we've got this little bit down here and i quite like that yeah that's good that's fine let's get that stuck on do i want any fabric behind it you're fed up with me now <laughs> auditioning things i quite like the fact that that copper is the only bit of bling on it Let's just try. Shall we just try something and see if we like it? I've got this, which is, you know, very, very blingy. It's too blingy, isn't it? Too much. Yeah, it's too much. Um, so no, I'm, I'm going to leave it as it is, like that. I'm just, did I ink around him? Yeah, yeah, I did. So I'm going to stick this onto here, exactly like that, let's just check, yeah, okay, so I'm going to stick that on there. Uh, Jen wants to know if you've got new glasses. Jen, you are so blinking perceptive. These are the new glasses I got two years ago. <laughs> and uh, I haven't worn them very much. I don't even know why. I think because the first time I put them on, I got a headache. Because you often do, don't you, when you put new glasses on. Um, 
And so I just put them back in the box. But today I thought, you know, actually, I'm just not seeing too clearly. So I got them out of the box. Oh, I put the glue on the wrong side. No, because you're going to stick it to the back of the Oh, book. yeah, that's right. Well done. Well done, Mr. F. I'm going to have too much glue everywhere now, but never mind. Just slide that out a little bit if it... No, it's not going to allow me to. That's all right. That's fine. Lovely. I've just got a little corner of the... Right. So we're going to stick that there. Yep. I think that's all right, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. Lovely says hi. Hiya, lovely. How are you doing? What are you up to? So we're making progress anyway, as we always do. Right, down you go. Okay, there he is, in all his technicolour glory, look at that, see the top one with the copper, Ooh. I quite like that actually. So now the question is about the sewing, the sewing situation, that doily is not on square, Just square that up a bit. So shall I sew all the way round it? Shall I just sew part? I might start there and go all the way round actually and finish here. No, I'm going to catch his tail if I do that. Where's my number, my 23? Where did it go? Oh, I told you I'd lose it. Oh, no, here it is. Let's just do some random. I think that's going to have to go. <coughs> Excuse me. On the other page on there yeah all right so that's going to go on the other bit just some randomness well for instance you know say just across that corner i hear what you're saying <laughs> <laughs> but no <coughs> you're just trying to pretty too much i am going to sew down that around that corner that's for sure. And then we'll come back and we'll have a look and see if it needs any more sewing. like it what I don't like is the fact I've actually sewn into his wing that's going to really really irritate me um, so I'm just going to unpick that stitch and the next one with my high-tech unpick tool <laughs> right yeah that's better okay squash that holes down yeah I quite like that and I feel some more sewing coming on so I'm just I'm going to chop those but leave an end um, maybe around here down to there yeah yeah foot what am I flat because of the brad. It's 
we've got some falling off with the brands. Oh, yeah, it has. Oh, that's the, I bet that was the one I've just done. Oh, yeah. That's right, though. No, no, I don't. Pick it out and put one of the ones back in. Oh, well. I bet that's the one that I just did and just hadn't set. Didn't like the whack work, did it? No. Right, let's put one of these older ones in. Whack whack coming. <gasps> right, cover your ears. Whack whack alert. Cover your ears. Oh, I'm going to do it onto there. Things jumping off the table. Yeah, that's fair. Oh no, look, it's coming off. Likes to come off. Well, that, that's good. We'll just take it off and leave whatever's on it on it. Yeah, that's that's all right. We'll just embrace grunge, like so. Right, let's just cut these strings off a little bit. Right, okay. I'm I'm happy with that. I like it. I really like it actually. Um, let's stick it in the book. Come on, Mr. Green. So that's going to go there. I like the sewing. I, I, I like everything. I even like the fact that that's just got the tiniest bit of embossing around. It's nice. So I can stick that down, I think, without any more worries. Yeah, okay. Oh, I haven't put the lid on that. I bet it won't work the next time. So it's up to you whether you decide that this is grunge or not. I think it is. In my head it is. So I've met the prompt as far as I can think. make sure that the strings are hanging out that should be hanging out um, tissue let's just go around this and seat it down Just press it down with your hand if you're using the collar. Let's make sure you've got your edges done first and then just press it out with your hand like that. Right, so what remains to be done is to make this into a pocket. So I'm actually going to use some double sided on here just to be on the safe side. So double sided top and bottom of the pocket. Let's cut that there just now. Turn it round. Okay, let's turn this so I can get cut the excess off. and flip over the other way thank you just burnish that down and then a little bit of glue on it and we can stick the pocket down then safe in the knowledge it's well stuck So 
So even the cosmic shimmer is still working. I says, oh yeah, it is. I thought it would have dried up because I left it without its lid on for a little minute. Right. So there we are, just the number to go, and I'm going to put that there. So stink around it. So I've made best use of my bugs, I think. Jean says it's classy grunge. Classy grunge. Thanks, Jean. Thank you. Jean says it's grunge chic. <laughs> Do you think it is? I can't get away from shabby chic. Jean says it's grungy entomology. Yeah. And now Dickley says she didn't think she was going to like grunge, but she loves what you've done with it. Oh, thanks, my love. There we go, right. And Nancy says she's loving the grunge, even the big boogers. <laughs> That's no way to talk about <laughs> us, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fix it, bugger eye, and paint a lot, bugger eye. That's us, the giant boogers. <laughs> Nancy. So I've still got this giant bugger to go at some stage, so I'll leave him. Uh, in the fussy cuts pile. So, yeah. Right. There we go. There it is. That is my grunge. And I'm well aware of the fact it's probably not, you know, proper grunge. I know that. But it's kind of my take on grunge. And I'd be really interested to see your all of your takes on grunge. Because you can't help it. You are what you are. And you kind of drag things back to um, to your own particular style. So that's the 23rd of January. I took a lot of head scratching and I bet you're looking at it thinking why. <laughs> it's like when a posh lady gets dirty. Yes, that's what it is. Um, can I take this opportunity, please, to thank everyone who has donated to our channel? Um, I'm blown away by your generosity. Without it, we would have ground to a halt ages ago. Um, it, as everybody that does this knows it's an expensive thing to do uh, so thank you some of you I can't get back in touch with because you haven't got um, uh, any way of getting in touch with you but I'm really grateful please never doubt that I'm really grateful and any donation that we get gets put to very good use buying stuff for me to show you what to do with it basically so thank you very very much everybody for watching um, I hope that we'll see you again tomorrow at two o'clock. Same time, same place, different blinking prompt. Who knows what it'll be tomorrow? I shall start worrying about that right now and hopefully come up with something for two o'clock. You've all been great. I love the atmosphere. I really feel like I'm in amongst you and that we're kind of doing all this together and you're all sort of saying to me, oh, what, that? Oh, oh, I like that. Or whatever it may be. Just Are that you we're... sure? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Um, that you're just all here with me. It's, it's, it's fantastic, isn't it, really? So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Happy crafting. And please, above all else, be safe. Bye. Bye, be safe, be happy, see you tomorrow.